What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mikey. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, man? Uh, guys, uh, yeah. season eight, what are we in eight? Season eight, episode eight. two of The Walking yes. Dead. Yes. The Damned. The Damned. The Damned. What do you think that means? No, don't answer that. Uh, <laughs> Mikey, what, what, so what did you think of this? Uh, eps. The only word I can describe to you and to everyone that's watching is it was so intense this episode to me yeah, i agree you know what i mean? it's it's very just the groups and and breaking everything down and initially i'm thinking like like wow you know they they're just really rolling through these these compounds and one of my favorite parts probably is is just seeing more of the plan and and what is to be expected and what they initially laid out um going forward from 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 the first episode yeah yeah like because you think like it's gonna be you think it's gonna be oh oh what's their plan oh that was their plan but like you just said no 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 no. They, their plan is so involved They're sweeping through you know what i mean it's like but not only that like it's it's the kill it's the get in there don't don't go up on them stay mm-hmm. on the perimeter of the outpost until they kill enough that the you know, and keep them busy long enough for the walkers yeah. to come back. Yeah. You know, which is, which is an interesting thing. And, and, and I just thought of this point real quick is that the fear of the walking dead had this big emphasis on when they came back, mm-hmm. when they turned based mm-hmm. on your, their weight, their age, their gender, their creed, right? The whole thing that yeah. Troy was doing. And then now, but in this, there's none of that. And it's just, they just expected them to turn. At first I was, it was a little it was a little ridiculous in the beginning and I know that a lot of people have kind of been a little upset with that first initial um, compound where with the one with Aaron and Eric and yeah. and Francine and and because there was a lot of shooting it was a lot of I think Chris Hardwick even mentioned it was a very Star Wars esque you know what I mean? That yeah. with the with the the lights. Nobody uh, was hitting anybody. Nobody was like, hitting what? anybody. Very like oh. GI Joe. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But then at first you you know by the end you see why and and that you know we saw it exactly happen with well i knew people that died you know see, i i kind of i've kind of figured that was it when when they weren't shooting when they weren't when they weren't moving i'm like okay it's most likely they're gonna wait for those to th- you know to yeah. get up and then when they realized it and all of a sudden like and then that one girl mara gets yeah. you know she's like ah she, she was like oh attacked. shit that's yeah. why they're not right. pushing yeah that's why they're not pushing it was you know to see to see each each group and especially the 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 Rick and Daryl group making their way through i was like on the edge of my seat because all you know from from season 7 we saw Rick beaten down. We saw just Negan's group and the saviors just really kicking, kicking Alexandria and everybody's ass. So we, we actually saw by, by the end of last season that, you know, our groups here, here we come. And I'm just waiting for that to end because I know that it's not just going to be like, wham, bam, we won. You know what I mean? So it was very, it was intense because I'm just waiting to see who's going to be around that corner. And then, you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say the opposite in that I'm, I'm really enjoying these, these assaults, and I don't want to see them end. And, and look, I don't want, yeah. I don't want eight episodes of this, but yeah. I, 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 I want to see one more. I want to see another one. I want, yeah, I want to see where it's gonna. I'll even take two more if yeah. it means something, because here, here's what's happening. So, you have everybody, and and I gave this a lot of thought, but everybody is, is, is anxious to move forward and to fight these guys and yeah. to take them out because they, they kill us. They, they've done all these things. They've killed our people. They're mm-hmm. terrorizing us. They're forcing us. They're making us bend the knee, all this stuff. But what, what's happening is, and it's, and obviously this was done in a specific, very specific way with these very specific characters this time yeah. was it's, it's, it's taking a toll on each of them at once. Um, you know, mm-hmm. all differently is what I mean to say. So, yeah. Whereas it was, we're going to kill them all, kill them all, you know, like Starship Troopers, you know, you want to live forever. Like it was that type of thing. But now you have everyone, everyone's own conscious is coming in. And something that was really funny that I thought about, not funny, but I was thinking and I'm like, these people are probably like, we don't, we're so used to killing dead things. 
Like, not very often do they go and kill humans. Like, that's, oh, yeah. a, that's not a thing that happened every day, and now it is. And now it's literally, it's, it's, it's a literal war where it's human against human. Yeah. And you can saw, I, what were the two guys' names? I forget the two guys that were with Morgan, but the guy shaking. He's shaking because but they mention the names too, um, right? But that's my point. They're they're they're. It's like you're you're killing other humans, and where is that line? And then we see Jesus and Tara, and, and there Tara. and there's that line. But yeah, another. But speaking about that specific situation, so you have Tara saying, "No, we're gonna. This guy's got to die because that's what we're here for, and it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. He's one of yeah. them. He's with them. It doesn't matter." And then Jesus is like, "No, no, 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 no." And then right in that in that situation, Jesus gets the answer of, nope, you cannot trust any of these people. Like that that to me, that was like, you just got your answer right there. Like if you if you thought, oh no, 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 maybe nope, nope. That's your answer. So for me, that was a case yeah. closed right there. And then you have Morgan, who is badass Morgan. Fucking awesome. That's probably one of my favorite one of my favorite scenes is just Morgan doing the whole waking up and like a like he's reborn. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I remember saying, and I'm sure you remember, I couldn't stand the flip flopping of Carol and Morgan and them with their deciding on whether or not they're gonna kill or you know, just revert back to um a a, a prior uh, way of thinking. And now that we see Carol on board and we see Morgan on board, especially his whole little Terminator thing here, they just better not go back. I, I don't want to hear, oh, my God, now I feel bad again. I can't kill. You know what I mean? There has to be a medium. I don't think that it would be healthy for Morgan to continue being as like, listen, he said, I can't die. Right. That was his quote. Was I his can't quote, die. Yeah. That's a confidence. That's um, that's an arrogance. That's really what he's dealt with. He. Morgan may honestly truly feel that. And I just, I like to see, um, I don't want them to be killers. Cause then there's, there's a fine line between just being like Negan, you know, if they're just so, so quick to kill. But when you, when it comes to the whole Tara and the whole Jesus thing, it kind of drove me nuts a little bit just because of just what you said that the, the man faked about peeing his pants, which was a, a funny, funny, um, a funny part of the episode, but there was just um, for 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 Jesus to get held at gunpoint again, and then he uh, uh, after get, getting out of it, he still is he still doesn't want to, to kill these people. Um, it's just I want to see them take care of who they need to take care of, and not be stupid and make stupid decisions. And I think that was a big one. I think um, after these people surrendering. It was it's it's going to be it's going to come back to bite them. Well, you know, think about this, because Morgan says Morgan Morgan's not right in the head. Yeah. Okay. he's just not right in the head. He wakes Mm -hmm. up and he realizes, oh, my God, I have to do this. I'm going to do this. And he starts killing everyone. But he's having Mm -hmm. problems because he's flashback. He's having the flashback of Rick telling him this is what we have to be now. And Morgan's like, I don't want to do this. And so but he does do it. And then he goes outside and Morgan's so messed up that he's just like. When he gets out there, he's like, no, we we have to do this. This is what we came to do. We have to do, like, man, like, he, so for him, it's either on or off. It's hot yeah, or cold. That's... It's this or that. And it's so, it's a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. It's mm-hmm. a little bit, as mm-hmm. badass as he is, it's a little annoying for him to say, yeah. oh, like, like, he, like, he's like, you just, you can't think for yourself. Like, I understand that you have your own, he's like, but if I'm going to give up my own sensibilities and my own morals, then I guess I'll just be this. Anyway, whatever. Enough about him. How about the baby? What's going on with that? Oh, that was rough. At first, I was like, you know, just she was a cute little, cute little kid. Crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, after watching it again, realizing that that must have been, you know, the the, the child's father. Well, yeah. Um, right. Way to go, Rick. You killed. killed you, you killed the. Kid. It was. The it was an dad, interesting yeah. scene, obviously, because he looks down, and then they have the shot of him looking in the mirror. But um, how is he supposed to know, man? And so you mentioned that when we were talking off off camera, like, mm. did Dwight lie? Do you think yeah. Dwight lied? I don't think he lied. Yeah. I think I think either. So where are the guns? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but I think maybe he got found out. I think maybe they 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 found they out. They found out that Dwight was giving them the yeah. information. Yeah, 
or something happened where he couldn't he couldn't get them the updated info. I don't think he lied. I don't think he lied. That's me. Yeah, well, Rick seems to trust him more than Daryl did in that one in that one scene. Yeah. You know, it was. Um, listen, do you think that Dwight knew the baby was there and that Rick would find that that baby? And what do you think that? What do you think Dwight oh, expected Rick to do? You know what? You see now. Now here's the thing. You bring that up, and yeah. so whether the guns, okay, so whether the guns were there or not, kind of isn't doesn't have to have anything to do with that baby. Did Dwight know the baby was there? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But the baby wasn't just moved there because that was a room that was set up for that kid. So, I think there's a woman probably running around too. Well, it could have been. The it mother. could, you know, it could have been for. It could have been Mara for all we know. You know, you don't know. You don't know yeah. who who's the mother. Who the mother was, but they're not mutually exclusive the guns didn't necessarily weren't necessarily yeah. in gracie's room like that wasn't then ne they never he ne rick was never like oh this is the room i'm going to specifically no they didn't know where the hell it was they would split up to look for them yeah so i don't think they're like well, i said they're not mutually exclusive however did dwight know it's that that's that that point is moot it doesn't matter whether he yeah. knew or not doesn't make a difference because uh. at this point everyone's gonna die so yeah, no, I just wondered because I'm, you know, it was it was very impactful for Rick to see his kid. So I'm just wondering if, in fact, Dwight did lie, that that would be something that would probably fuck Rick up. Well, you know I mean? guess we'll see. see. We'll or see put him in a weird that, situation yeah. because, you know, listen, say he stumbled upon the child and the dad in the room. Was he going to kill? You know, how would Rick have handled that if he saw them both together instead of just the man? Well, I think he would have. First by himself or. Yeah. I think he would have. I think he would have done it differently. Would he? Would he yeah. not? Would he not oh, have killed absolutely. him? Not necessarily. Yeah. He, he. He. I mean, he. He would. Have, if the guy attacked him, he still would have killed him. That's the whole. Yeah. That's. Let's just. Let's be honest here. If, if the guy attacked mm -hmm. him, he would have killed him. Uh, yeah. What about the fact that? Um. Oh man, I don't want to. I don't want to lose my. Ah uh, uh, man. <laughs> I just had it. it. Spit it. it out. I just oh Morales, that was it. Morales. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, I I don't. Who cares? I know. Who the hell cares? Why the hell are you bringing back a, a fucking C character from the first season? Who cares? That guy was Dude, annoying anyway. It was. You know what? It's funny because I've been hearing this for years. Bring back Morales. I don't know. What? Who's been saying that? It's been all over the internet. There's been rumor, not rumors, but a lot of people, I don't know if they're hoping or asking questions. Can you see Morales come back? Why? Who the I don't hell know. cares about Morales? I don't know. That, dude, that's what I said, too. Bring um, back Carol's husband. Bring back yeah. Ed. Whatever. His, his name is Ed, I think, right? Um. Bring yeah, back Ed. 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 Like what? Like why? Who cares? I, I, I think they fell to. I think the show kind of like wanted to give some fan service and decide to bring this dude back. I mean, he's like, but here's what pisses me off. He's like, hey Rick. He's like, what? Like he he had the yeah. same reaction that I did. I was like, who who the fuck are you, dude? Like mm -hmm. who are you? All right. So the last we heard from Morales is that he was gonna go to what Alabama or something with his family. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Great. Good. Who cares? <laughs> Who the hell cares? And you know then, it, and then they leave, and then and then they leave it like, oh, and then the coming attractions show Rick alive. Obviously, he's not mm -hmm. gonna die, but still, like, it's mm -hmm. like, come on, man. I don't know. I think it's dumb. Uh, uh what else you got for me? Uh, give me a question. I'll, I'll give you a question. I, I, are you team Tara? Are you team? You team Jesus? I'm on, team. On... I'm team kill fucking everybody. Yeah. I'm team. You sided with the wrong people. I'm going to kill you now. Like, I don't, yeah. I, at this point, I'm sitting here going, you know what, man? Screw you. Screw the damn saviors. Screw, you know what? You have kids and they have kids and they don't, they don't have any problem taking food mm -hmm. from a community that has children or has kids or has six people. They don't have any fucking problem. So why yeah. the hell would you have, oh, we got to be better than them. Nope. Nope, you yeah. have dead things out there. There's no there's no such thing as being better than them in this situation. You know what it is? It's it's if they're not going to work with you and if they're not yeah. going to try and create yep. a better world with you because these people want a better world, well, then screw you. But you know, here's the funny thing, Mike, because the saviors feel the same way. So it's yeah. it's a very if 
if this show was called The Saviors and we were with Negan and The Saviors, we'd feel the same way about them and we'd look at Rick like Negan. It's just it's just perspective. But it regardless where on where we were with Rick and the group and now I'm for Rick and the group and I, yeah. I say every savior should die because if you really didn't want to be there then you would you didn't have to be there. Well, we we I mean, we assume that. No, 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 we don't because the point is... But we don't is, know what they'll do or we don't know... No, no, no. If, if you're not helping, if you're not contributing, then you'll get punished oh, and that. I think but he'll kill, yeah. I think he, if someone wanted to leave, he wouldn't care. Uh, I don't I don't, think I don't know about that. I think that... I really don't think he did. You know, initially when, when the... Unless it was when, like, you know, Sherry, who was a wife of his, but... Well, listen, when initially when, when the guy comes with the, the, the pee pants dude... He was like, oh, "I'm Negan's cook and and all this kind of stuff. I'm just one of the workers." I, what 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 I thought was is, listen, all he has to do is make Negan a wrong sandwich or something that tasted bad, and I'm sure Negan would 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 pop him. Listen, I I agree with you. I agree with you in the fact that where you say that if we were being if we were following Negan from the very beginning, if this show was in, uh, in fact called The Saviors, it would be a different story. But this the saviors Negan runs a totally different ship to uh, to Rick. Well, that's and, it. He and, runs and a fear based else. situation. Yeah, that's and the whole point. Rick is totally. They're totally not like that. They're the ones that would rather live in peace. Negan just wants everything that that you have, right? Um, and will do anything to get. So I think in that way they're much different. Um, Rick does what he has to do to protect his group and his family, but he would rather not kill if he doesn't have to. And right, but in, but he's being... in protect kill mode. Yeah. And so yeah. what about you? Are you are you are you are you I mean for, for me what? for me I, I I think that that's gonna be a huge mistake. Um with, No but what are you but what team? I'm more towards Tara's team, obviously. But not completely I think that, No, I, I mean for, for in that's in that circumstance I'm totally with Tara. I think you have to do what you have to do because number one, after while you know while while I'm watching this, I'm like, all right, so now they surrender. Um, it would be difficult just to just to massacre these people, especially since they laid down their weapons and stuff like that. I think it would be a little rough, and that's that whole humanity part. But listen, how are you going to transport that? That's the one What's thing. What's the I was point? Of. Right. What how, the hell is the point? How are you going to transport all these? Uh, there was quite a, quite a bit of saviors there. So now you're going to be transporting them, and it just it's just going to lead to trouble. And uh, without spoiling anything, you, know, you watch the the trailer the, for yeah. next week, right? And what happens on the road while they're transporting these people? Yeah. So it's just I knew from the get that that was going to be a big mistake. And Tara says something cool to Jesus: "Hey, listen, you know." Um, Rick, Rick is going to side with me. Yeah. You know, Maggie may side with you, but like saying Rick's going to side with me and Rick's the leader is state. what she said. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen. I really don't think that um, it's going to get anywhere. Uh, I don't think that's going to turn out to be anything real big, the transporting part of it, but it, it may get back to Rick in the future and Jesus and Rick may butt heads, but you know, without, without, killing this video and making this video so so much longer than it needs to be there was one, just one really cool standout thing that that I'd like to see what you what you think now like I said in the beginning we we got we're getting more of the plan you know initially I didn't think that it was going to be <clears throat> just all out war you know no pun intended that there would be several battles I thought that there would be possible um breaks in in the in the in the fighting i don't see that at all after these first two episodes i think that they laid down this is if we have to die and, and you know and lose then that's what will happen i think it's like an a to b thing start to finish i think that they may be expected to, to just wipe through within like a two three day thing yeah and just go all like like they just pushed one thousand percent there's right. no all right, let's attack um, the sanctuary. And now let's retreat back to Alexandria and see how they deal with that. Right. Okay. No, so, it, what's your question? No, just just how, what do you, did you expect this? Did you expect that it would go down in the way that I we got I didn't expect it, I, but I wanted it, and I'm happy that we're getting. Oh, I'm happy it. because, I'm like happy you said, too. 
like you said, it's yeah. it's a you know this is this is a continuation. This isn't like the yeah. next week or something. This is like right after yeah. they. No, they're not stopping until it's left. Until it's finished. Right, that's my point. So no, I'm yeah. I'm very Without happy. Lose. That's why I said I'll take another two episodes of this. Meaning, all right, so I'll take another full episode of assaults with stuff happening and maybe something mm -hmm. going wrong at the end of that one, and yeah. then the aftermath of that in the fourth one, and then like I'll take that. And now we're gonna get into some more stuff. Then we're gonna have to go back to the places, and we're gonna have to get mm -hmm. you know. Then we're gonna see Negan's retaliation. So. So I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm so far, I'm happy with where it's going. But, yeah, I'm, ha I'm, I'm, hey, I have no, I have no complaints right. so far. It's, it's La been really action packed. Last thing, uh, Shiva looked good. Yeah, Shiva did look good. Shiva looked good. Shiva did look good. But for how long? Okay, they stay. I'll tell you what, they stayed on her. They stayed on the shot of her for like just like a little too long. At the end there, when he was petting when her he head, was petting her, and I was like, and I, and I and I said as much, and my wife's like, well, where else? You know, they they, they paid for that shit. They got to get their money's worth out of it. I was like, you yeah. know what? You're right. But it she, looked pretty they, good. They're good. They're good with with the like when she jumped on the guy. Yeah, it, it looked it looked really um, good. Cool. It did, you know, I'm I'm glad they're using it sparingly. But listen, we're gonna end this video uh, now. There's nothing else we're gonna talk about. There is plenty more, but we're gonna try and keep these videos a little bit shorter. Uh, yeah. So, Mikey, uh, where where can they get to us? Well, of course, you can leave more of your comments, uh, your, your ideas, your thoughts of these first two episodes in the comment section in uh, below in, the, in this video on YouTube at Third Person Pod, of course. But don't forget to, to check us out on all the other social medias at Third Person Pod, on Facebook, on Instagram. We've been posting some cool stuff on Instagram. Uh, and don't forget about uh, iTunes. You can have a listen to us on there as well, Third Person Pod. Yep, you got it. Uh, also, check out RetroSquat.com. Yes. The, uh... It's a retro podcast I do. It's great. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're going to see you on the next episode of uh, yes. The Walking Dead. I almost said Fear the Walking Dead. Damn. Oh, damn you. I know. I'm still... I'm, I'm still How still dare you? But, uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you on the next episode. Let us know what you think. Love you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.